it seemed like checkmate. But it wasn't, because the king of the universe had another move. Remember the woman caught in adultery and men came with rocks that stoned her? She thought that was checkmate. But Jesus said, go and sin no more. Amen. Remember the thief who was nailed next to Jesus, who was a murderer, and who repented and thought, this is it. He thought that was checkmate. But Jesus had another move. Amen. On the third day, he rose from his grave, and he made a promise to that repentant thief. Today you'll be in the paradise. On what we call Good Friday, people were screaming, crucify him. And the devil was smiling because he thought it was checkmate. He thought he had defeated Jesus. When he saw Jesus die on the cross, he thought he had won the chess match. But what happened three days later? It was a resurrection. The devil was defeated because the king still had another move. There are times when you feel like you're facing checkmate. But remember, God still has another move. We are not trapped. We have hope. Amen. And we need to share that hope with family, with friends, with neighbors, with church members. We need to keep uplifting Jesus Christ as the only solution to our sin problem. Amen. And the next time the devil says to you, checkmate, remind him that God still has another move. Let's pray. Father in heaven, I am so grateful that the devil is defeated and that Jesus is victorious. And I thank you, Lord, that you have outlined for us in Daniel a future for your, your people, even at this time. And I'm so grateful that you have a plan for us. And I pray that you'll give us the courage to surrender ourselves to you and to trust you and not to be deceived by the devil. We pray in Christ's name. Amen. Amen. We're going to sing 464 as our closing hymn. Four sixty-one, sorry.
14, wait on the Lord and be of good courage. And he shall strengthen your heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Amen. Amen.